Hello beautiful people, it's Jamie, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new video. Welcome to moving vlog day two. It's currently the first morning after I have moved into our new apartment. There is so much to do. I was just like, I'm just gonna take the morning really slow, really chill. I've got a nice uh, little drink in my pumpkin mug. Honestly, I'm all out autumn, all out fall, all out spooky season and I'm here for it. Today's big task is to do some uh, furniture unpacking and building. I have never made a piece of furniture in my entire life. So this is going to be an experience, one for the memory books, I'm sure. So I bought my drawers from Ikea. They are the Copang drawers. I'll leave, in, I'll leave them in the description box below in case anyone was also moving or wanted a new fresh set of drawers, but they are lovely. I've seen them in the showrooms um, in Ikea. And yeah, I fell in love with them. I think they were about 120 pounds. So not too bad considering there are five set of drawers. I've got the exact place for them that I really want them to go. I also need to um, set up and build my desk. That's also something else I need to build. And then I can kind of have my little work from home station this week, because obviously I'm back to work tomorrow. I'm literally chilling in some cozy, cozy clothes and cozy pajamas because today's just a really chill day. Just getting stuff sorted, getting stuff unpacked. Yes. There is no point literally getting ready or anything. You might be wondering, I don't know if the quality or the sound has changed on, on this video, but if you haven't watched my previous video and my moving vlog day one, then you won't have seen that my camera, my trusty Canon G7X has, um, it broke on me. Such inconvenient timing, not the cutest at all. She is completely snapped, so I'm currently trying to replace her, but uh, of course, cameras are very, very expensive. For the moment, I'm just uh, using my phone. So like the good old days, back when I first started my YouTube channel, my camera is dead, my phone camera is out. We're gonna start building some IKEA furniture. You'll have to excuse all the chaos behind me, but um, I've brought my phone and the boxes into the main living space because I thought trying to unload two boxes and set up my entire set of drawers in my bedroom in just that small gap, maybe it wasn't gonna be the most practical. I think IKEA furniture, is meant to be pretty easy to build but this is me <laughs> and i never make anything easy how do i oh gosh so it's come in this set of drawers came in two different packages so i assume one might be for the drawers and the other might be for the frame maybe oh come on <laughs> I'm already sweating. These are the drawers that I'm going to be building. My bedroom furniture is basically going to be like white, black, and then pops of green and orange, and any other color of the rainbow I fancy. I want my room to feel quite neutral in terms of the base aesthetic, and then add in the pops of color. What is this? Just looks like a piece of like cork board. I'm gonna put that over there with other things that I don't know what are. If I do this, and if I do this successfully, I will not stop speaking about it. Like, every single person I meet, I'm gonna go into the office, I'm gonna see my best friend, I'm gonna bring up my mum and dad, and I'm gonna be like, look what I just done. I'm gonna be so proud of myself. Uh, it's saying I need a drill. No, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. Why can't it just be easy self-assembly? I don't have a drill. Do I need a drill? What's in here? Where are the nuts and bolts? To any other normal person, they'll be able to read that and just be like, oh yeah, bish bash bosh. To me, it's all an alien language to me. I'm sure it will be in this box somewhere. Nope. Oh, it's telling me to do it on a blanket. It's fine, I've got a wooden floor. How exciting. So that goes there. Stunning. Oh no. Oh no, here. Step one, done. I need a screwdriver. I'm gonna go get my screwdriver. So I just grabbed my toolbox. Sorry. How many screws does one person need? Why are there so many screws in the world? Um, and why do I have all of these heads? How do I choose what head goes on what screw? We need to properly think about this. This is like some form of detective FBI investigation. What screw am I gonna need? Oh, oh she looks like she fits. The slipper fit? Oh no, that one looks like it fits. So does that one. 
Do they all fit? I don't get it. Oh, I thought it'd be like Cinderella. You put it in one and it's like, oh, you are the chosen one. Which way do I turn the screw? Oh no, it's going in. Oh my God, it's going in. Why don't I just do that? That makes more sense. I'm going to come back to you once I've finished the rest of them. And for voila, I have added in all of the screws and these little wooden cylinder things. I realized I had the incorrect um, screw head on. So I found the right one and then they just went in like a dream. So yeah, it took me a couple minutes. I'm super happy. Look at me, little DIY master. I feel like Ikea should start paying me and then I can go over to other people's houses and help them set up furniture. That could be my, my little side hustle. Step two and three, all done and dusted. Now on to step four. The screws aren't going in the holes properly. I feel like I've done something wrong. No, I haven't. Trust yourself, Jamie. Trust yourself. Do I need a hammer? Cute. Oh my gosh, she looks stunning. Stop it. I've just built a leg. I have just built a leg. Oh no. I don't get it. Oh no, what's happened? So then why is it longer that way? I knew it was too good to be true. What have I done? Uh, I think I've missed. I think I've messed it up. I don't know why I do this to myself. It was right. Um, I just flipped it the other way round to put the leg in. So I was fine. I was fine. Okay, let's get this leg in. Fab, so I've just finished the two sides of the drawers. So that's another page we can flip over. We're on to step number six. Very excitingly, Alex has made a delicious egg and bacon bagel. So I'm going to enjoy that whilst I uh, recuperate my energy because I'm going to need it for these drawers. I think I've done it. I think I have finished the frame, the base, the outside of the drawers. So I'm about to lift them up. Hopefully they stay intact, but all the screws, I had all the pieces, which is great followed the instructions and it's looking, it's looking pretty good on the floor. I might just keep it on the floor. Oh, okay. Stop it. No, I can't. Eee! Oh my God, is that all right? Oh. Hello and welcome to Ikea. What can I make for you? How can I help? Look at me in my pajamas still. It's literally three o'clock in the afternoon and I'm still in my pajamas, but look at her. Look at her. Oh my God, I'm so happy. So I still need to do the drawers. That is in box number two, so I'm going to get sorted with that. And then hopefully I'll have a working fabulous pair of drawers. But so far, so good. I still can't believe I built all of this. My dad is going to watch it and he's going to be like, no way. No way did he do this. That's my son. And I'm going to be like, well, I've been trained for this very day. Should we do a little transition? Should we do a little transition? Okay, okay. Three, two, one. So I've been doing this set of drawers now for what, six, five, six hours, and they are finally built. Oh my God, it's like my own little baby. I'm so happy. Every time I'm gonna look at this set of drawers, I'm gonna be like, I did that, I did that. She's looking sleek, she's looking gorgeous. Oh my God, I can't wait. Let's get this into the room. So I've just popped her in the bedroom and she fits perfectly. This is where I envisioned it between this wall and the radiator. And my measurements were correct. She sits in there perfectly. These are the Copang drawers, so they are a five set of drawers. Four of them are practically identical, and then you've got the top one, which is basically just one, one drawer. But I like that because I might have that for underwear. This will probably change. I'm thinking maybe, I'm definitely thinking a lamp because there's a plug socket behind there, and also potentially like a mirror. I don't know because I've got the mirror there, but again, everything is still subject to change. So although it is getting later, on in the day um, there's still lots to be done so before I get started with the clothes because I kind of want to leave that till last I actually want to set up my work from home space over the next few days I'm going to be working so I want to make sure that's all done and then that just means that in the main living space everything that's kind of mine is all set up and done and then I can kind of start doing all the little bits like packing away decorating I think the desk won't take me long it's definitely not going to take me as long as the drawers because it's all basically come set up I just need to attach the legs to the actual desk so after a busy day we've ordered a little takeaway little dominoes and we've got the infamous dominoes cookies oh my god stop they look so good and then two delicious pizzas oh and we've just used a box as a <laughs> makeshift table and we're currently sitting on cushions because we also don't have a sofa so we're gonna watch some tv and uh, enjoy some food pizza is all eaten we're about to sit down <laughs> we've just finished pizza we're about to sit down 
And now a gorgeous little setup with um, some Domino's cookies. I thought before I sat down for some cookies, I would show you the little desk space that we have uh, set up in the main living space. I've actually ordered a monitor, which is due to come this week. So that's gonna sit on the desk too. And obviously I'll make it all cute and organized, but yeah, I'll show you and then I can kind of talk about what I kind of want to do with it. This is the work from home space, which I love. My chair fits in perfectly underneath the desk, which is absolutely stunning. This is the Lillison Ikea desk um, and I got the matching desk organizer also from Ikea. Um, so that will have my big monitor on it and then I've got a little plant, uh, a little lamp, which I got from Facebook Marketplace and then my laptops. But again, I will properly organize it and sort it out once the monitor comes and I can get some cute little organization trays and bits. And then I was thinking potentially against this wall, we could have like a little storage three, four um, drawer storage unit to put like wires, cables, any additional little bits and bobs. That's the plan. But so far it has come together really, really nicely and I really love it. So I'm looking forward to sitting on my little chair and working from home this week. Hello my loves. So it's a couple of days later and unfortunately there hasn't been much progress in the flat purely because we are working gals. We've all been at work and we've been busy. So when we come back in the evenings, it's literally shower, eat, slowly unpack some bits and then get into bed and then restart another day. Also, a lot of the things which we still need to pack away, we are still waiting for storage for. So we need to buy like storage cabinets, TV bench, shelving. We've bought a sofa, which is very exciting. It's coming next week. But in terms of the table and chairs, those things we're just gonna have to make do without just until we find ones that we really, really love, but also we can financially afford because moving out, is hella expensive. Today, I have found my air fryer. So very excitingly, the other day in B&M, I bought an air fryer. So of course this was influenced by TikTok because TikTok loves to uh, make me spend my money. Also, apologies for this lighting. I completely forgot that in autumn, winter, as much as I love those seasons, it gets dark. I'm just thinking at the time, around four-ish, I'm like, damn, I need to get used to this. I need to get used to this. I'm like, no, son, son, come back. I'm gonna unbox it and I'm gonna pop it away and I cannot wait to use it. It was 20, 20, 25 pounds, which I think is actually a really good price for an air fryer, specifically because you are even saving money on like electricity because you're not using an oven. Me and Georgia and Alex, who I live with, we're all on different schedules. So obviously sometimes I'm back early, sometimes I work from home. It's good to be able to have an option where if I need to cook on my own or if I want to make a cute little lunch, then I absolutely can do. How cute is she? And then uh, I think you just pull her out here. Ooh, I don't wanna break it. Up here. Oh, there's a little sticker on it. That makes sense. Also some other good news. I have a camera coming on Friday. I spent a lot of money on it, but I just thought one, it was an investment and two, it this is what I love to do. So I'm investing into my passion and putting money into something that I love. That for me makes it worthwhile and makes the money well worth spent. It's an exciting new time. It's an exciting new chapter. I feel like everything all at once, however stressful and overwhelming it's been, has kind of been like, Jamie, you need to start fresh, a blank slate, start again. Oh, and third of all, good news. Oh my God, I just feel like I've got so much good energy to share with you guys today. I passed my probation at work. Now I'm an official, I mean, I was an official employee before that, but this just like takes the weight off my shoulders in terms of like, I'm not gonna be fired anytime soon because yeah, I passed my probation. I am going to end today's video here because like I said, I've got lots more content coming. I've got moving vlogs left, right and center. So I just wanna say a huge thank you guys for watching today's video and today's vlog. If you guys did enjoy it, then don't forget to smash the like button and of course, subscribe down below for more Jamie Day content. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys, thank you for watching. Mwah.